Is anybody going to have a heart? She looks a little smaller. Yes. I wouldn't say I've wasted the whole day, but what I have been spending this day doing was too much on Amazon. I know what goes the colors in the room. So you so brought it down here. I don't know. Down here. I that's why I got in the left lane. Yeah. Now I, all of a sudden they go no. back to, I want whatever you want. No, you didn't make it. You didn't call me audible. Y'all see, she coming out, <laughs> put together more often, ain't she? So anyway, so we're getting shots in two knees. This is a follow-up appointment. Obviously, I'm gonna be telling him about doing 75 hard and see what he says going forward. Since I'm getting this cortisone shot, like, am I gonna be okay? Should I, you know what I'm saying? Like, are we gonna switch to 75 something? We gonna 75 something, okay? Oh my gosh. So yesterday, uh, we were supposed to go to the Atlanta All Comers meet, track meet, and it poured down so hard. I don't even know what made me not pick up the camera and show you guys how hard it was um, raining. Y'all probably wouldn't have, it was just pure storming yesterday. I and mean, it started literally when we had turned down the street and they canceled it so obviously it was thundering it was crazy but hubby and i just like enjoyed each other we were in traffic for like two hours like ways was taking us all through all of the back roads okay and we were just like watching vlogs and talking and stuff like that so it ended up being okay hubby drove through it y'all know he does not like driving in the city but he did it like, i felt like when we got home we should have been at the cabin. Well, that's how long we were in the car. Yeah, so he didn't get to go to that and, and do that. They don't reschedule it or anything. Whatever events they were supposed to do or type of run they were supposed to do, it's just missed. So it will definitely give him more time to... Oh, are they... Okay, hold on. It'll definitely give him... Oh, no, no. Oh, crap. I messed, I messed that up. Dang. Is anybody gonna have a heart? Thank you. Thank you. And then this one here wanted to go the other way. <laughs> we'll get it together. Um, so yeah, I'll give him more time to like practice or whatever or run, you know, and get his get his time down even further. Every time I come in here, I always be like, dang, why didn't I bring cash? Yes, let me in, let me in. Dang it, <laughs> I thought I had a parking spot. Dang, he got lucky with that one. Really? And why they park like this? Now they gonna be mad when they come back and can't get in their car. Am I on the line? I'm not on the line. I know one thing, if I come out my car and I have a scratch, we gonna have a problem. And I'm going to take a video of his license plate and all the things. So this is the car next to me. Look at this. Look at this now. Look at all this. Look at that. The way this weather is giving spring said to heck with y'all this year. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Here you go. We're here. We're going up to the eighth or ninth floor. I literally have on like a two-piece set because it is cool out here. It is not middle spring. <laughs> but I feel comfortable. I feel cute. 
so I'll see y'all in there. Okay, y'all, so I'm in the doctor's office and I just got my first injection. I got it in the left knee. It was a little, ooh, he numbed me, but that ice cold feeling was, ooh. So I can't do anything today and um, I could go back to working out tomorrow. He does want me to take it easy in regards to like um, lower body workouts, um, continue to do the swimming and um, I could do treadmill. I can run or I should be able to run like this should ease my pain if I, you know, I can kind of start testing that elliptical I could do and yeah. So he obviously said the more weight that I get off, the better my knee will feel and what have you. The only thing about the cortisone shot is it, the longevity of it depends on the patient. Sometimes it can last a few weeks. It can also last a few months. Um, but if it is a shorter term thing, then I can come back and get the jail treatment. Um, and that's about like there's a, a treatment to that. Like there are a few you have to get. And then yeah, we'll go from there. So I'm just waiting on the nurse to check out and I'll catch y'all back in the car or at the next, the next destination. All right, let me show y'all the wound though, or the shot. The injection site. You can come in. <sighs> okay, just walking to the elevator, my knee is tight. I, I don't know. I guess I could feel the medicine. <laughs> I am seriously limping. All right, let's go.
Happy Saturday. Oh, Friday. Anyway, just doing a quick check in. I am at the shop, as you can see behind me. We're actually about to close. I wouldn't say I've wasted the whole day, but what I have been spending this day doing was too much on Amazon. I've been researching curling irons because your girl need a curling iron. Not for this, but for my other wig that you guys saw in earlier in this vlog. Because my curls aren't holding, um, it's either that or I'm not using the right hairspray. Back in the day, the Chi hairspray um, we used to work fine for me, but I need something else. If y'all know of a good hairspray, please let me know down in the comments. But I just want a regular full big barrel curling iron. I used to have a whole lot of them, but I don't anymore. I think my daughter took them. Um, <laughs> but I need one. So I was thinking about the Chi automatic curler. It's like this curling iron where you just kind of put the hair in and then it just automatically curls it or whatever. I've been looking at videos on that, trying to just make sure it's gonna do what I want it to do for $100. Um, and then I've seen some videos with the girls that just, you know, just a regular little schmegler barrel curling iron that I could probably find for $20. I may wear it tomorrow. I'm definitely wanting to wear it Sunday. If I order it off of Amazon, the one that I want, it won't get to me till Monday or Sunday, but not in enough time for me to have it for church in the morning. But the only thing about getting a curling iron from the beauty supply before I know which curling iron is the best curling iron is that they usually don't take returns. Whereas if I order it on Amazon and it's not as hot as I want it or effective as I want it, I can return it and get something else. Make sense? What is going on in my eye? I feel like one of the hair strands is like caught in the eyelash. <clears throat> is it gone? Yeah, that's what I've been spending my day doing. Aside from our family was supposed to come here this morning and film like a little graduation thing before the store opened. Um, Cause we're having like a little graduation party thing for all of the kids who graduated from, you know, elementary to high or middle, middle to high and high going into college. But that got re, somebody's coming in. I'll be right back. Hi, welcome in. Okay. Oh, the sweetest young lady just came in. So she actually rented the shop on Juneteenth for an event, a floral event. Um, and so she wanted to come in and check out the shop and like get a lay of the land. Um, so nice, she was so nice. I love when they do that, when they come in. Cause we actually, well, I've, spoke, I've spoken about that here on the site. We have like a liaison. I don't want to do all that. She markets out our shop and then, you know, people will contact her to book you know, time slots and then all I'll do is approve if it's available and it has to fit around what we're doing ourselves. Like we put on events ourselves as well. Um, so we have private events and shop events. So anyway, she was really, really nice. Anyway, what was I talking about? Curl nines. So yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna go ahead and stop to at the beauty supply and just kind of see if I can find something that's not too expensive. I gotta figure out that wig because I gotta cut with the bangs, but, and, and I'll see how the curling iron works, but the bangs fall and I know it's the humidity, but like the top part is not, it's like, it's like a natural type rooting. Um, it's like natural edges and I don't do baby hairs, so I don't put anything on it to kind of, you know, make it do whatever it's supposed to do. So when I flatten the roots, the little curly, you know, the naturalness of it kind of puffs back up or curls back up when I'm outside, you know, and the humidity hits it. So then it's not flat after a while and, and it looks wiggy. So I'm either going to, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Is my wig straight, y'all? I don't know. But here's, I guess, having a wig on where I got, where I have to like put the the glue on my head. I, I like the satisfaction of when I have a wig on when I get home, I can just pull that wig off. Right now, whenever I put the wig on, I gotta go upstairs and get a paper towel or something and put, you know, well she said I could use alcohol, but I just been wetting it and like rubbing and rubbing and rubbing and rubbing and rubbing until like it starts to like loosen up, you know, and then I gotta be on my edges. And one thing I don't have too is, I need to get some type of 
maybe it's like a pomade that the girls are using when they slick their hair back to stay back so that you know when you put the wig on it doesn't like catch your edges I don't have that so I'm gonna look for that in beauty supply too when I go oh and then I need like that little tape down thing <laughs> this hubby let me I'll be back something I've been using the iron guard as like a hold and it's actually a heat protectant I just it just clicked when I saw a helmet head and I don't know why I feel like I had helmet head at the house but I'm gonna get this just in case I don't because I need it for tomorrow for church and if I do I will bring this one back Hey guys, happy Sunday. So hubby and I are headed out for the day. We are about to go to the track and practice because he has a meet this week, 200 meter, right? Um, wait, one? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, and so um, we're gonna go practice that and then we're gonna run some errands. He wants to get like some looks, some active Don't wear. call it looks, I need something else to run in. Cause the one from two weeks ago is in the clean, needs to be clean. And the one I'm gonna wear next week, I'm saving that for something special. What's up what's happening? Why he's tapping me y'all? Anyway, uh, yeah, so we don't, got- to... Just don't call it looks. Oh, okay. That make it sound like I'm just like, I'm trying to look a certain way going to this track meet, okay? Oh. I'm over 40, okay? I'm just trying to get what? this run in, okay? <laughs> like this, I could run in this and be okay. You could. All right? You could. <laughs> So before we leave, we are gathering some pots, old pots that I have purchased just over the years because we started a new program at the shop and it's the PPP. Mm -hmm. And the it's PPP? the real PPP, y'all. It's not that 2020 <laughs> uh, COVID PPP. <laughs> right. It's the pre-love pot program. Right. So if anybody has a pot that they want to bring into the shop and get a new uh, pot, you know, just sometimes we just want a different aesthetic, a different style. We need a different size or what have you. You can bring the pot in and trade it in for a value on a new pot. Um, and then the pots that we a have. value on a new pot. Yeah. AKA a discount. A, a discount. A one. <laughs> it's not one for one, right? So we're kicking it off with pots that I have accumulated that will be everything Thing is basically under four dollars so we're going hubby already has brought over some pots so they're already pots there people have already started purchasing pots so we're just you know bringing more one to clear up space two is a great program um and then yeah three because it's you know helps, us, it helps us declutter yeah clean up so i asked wife is this going in the PPP? Because this is a nice. That is nice. Uh, no, because that goes upstairs in Nana's room. I don't even know why that's down here, actually. Did yeah, you... I think this should go in PPP. No, that's... You heard it first. No, because this on the that goes she... with, the, with the colors in that room. I know it goes with the colors in the room. So you so brought it down, it down here. here? I don't know. I didn't bring it down, bring that down Maybe here. Maybe something was in here that you... She did. puts like her, her keys, her perfumes, her little trinkets. That goes on that. Don't put where her stuff go. Okay. <laughs> All right. That does not go in there. That, but it was sitting here off to the side. I don't know why though. And make sure it doesn't fall off of that thing. No, it was fine. It was sitting there. So y'all look at y'all look at all these. We'll look at. It. I mean, some of them like these terracottas. Full of pots, just cute pots actually. Mm-hmm. Very cute. Yeah. So we'll clean them out a little bit. We're gonna, like I said, go through them, and. They'll be available at the shop. We're not gonna do too, too much to the pots because like I said, they are discounted. So they're pots that are as low as 75 cents. Yes, no. Yeah, I can go there.
Hey you guys, so here at the Wasteland, the best way to train for a 200 and get your speed endurance up is to run 300s and 400s. So I did a 400 a couple days ago. Today I will try to knock out two 300s and two 150s. So a little bit longer than the 200 and a little bit shorter than the 200 where the 300 I'm just focusing on getting through it at a decent pace without stopping and on the 150s I'm gonna do it like 60% and just work on my form getting my knees up and stuff like that so let's see how that goes tell me when to go oh I'm when you start I hit start idea where I was supposed to start. The thing was slipping off. Okay. All right, so that's good. I'm trying to see if I still keep the workout as what I just said or adjust it a little bit. And what were you gonna, you gonna do two of those? Yeah, another one of those. Okay. And then some 150s. But right now I'm trying to decide whether I wanna do just one more 300 and then like some 80s to kinda, you know, even it out. I'm gonna stick with what I was saying. But I'm gonna do the 150 and then see how I feel. And if I feel okay, I do the 300. If not, I'll do the second 150. And if I feel okay, I do the second 300. If not, I just call it after the second 150. So, do these 150s.
but whenever we, wherever we go somewhere else, you need to be carrying the camera so you can be recording me. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, see now they got the pants that I be wanting. So I basically need to come in the main section. Just real quick, I don't need to belabor that. All that you just saw in the last reel didn't happen because our register was down and in two places they moved us over to two places and then they were about to move us over to a third register and we said never mind. <laughs> the people right there in that well you can't say they, yes, they, they were behind, behind us. us and they're leaving and when we like had to get behind this whole new line. So we was just like, you know what? That's not this we, that money was not meant to be spent. So at least time. not here right now. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And I'm just like, I'm big on customer service. Why aren't you trying to get us done? We're bagged and ready. Like, why are we waiting? First world problems for sure, but ma'am. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, we're gonna find something to eat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> camera turn on the camera. Turn on the camera. The camera turn is on. on the camera. Oh turn on the camera, turn on the camera. It's Listen, you guys, oh my God. I was going in the direction, right? We about to, we got lunch, dinner, right? And we was like, what do you want this sweet? We're over here, there's a cold stone to make a right. We also, you, you guys know we like the macadamia nut cookies from Publix. That is the left going back towards our house. I was in the right lane to go to cold stones. Wife said make a left to get cookies. I get in the left lane and then she says, do you, are you going to cold stone, make the right? I was like, I just got in the left lane but because you said get cookies. You said get cookies. I was already getting cold stone, Yo. but you said you wanted cookies. I got in the left. Now we in the left lane to make this turn to get on the interstate. And now she's like, but I want what you want. I want you to go make a right to get the cold stone if that's what you want. I was already getting cold stone. But you were getting cold stone because I said go get cold stone, but I really wanted to know what you wanted. We what? making this left, y'all. What? Because we in the left lane. If she wanted me to get what I wanted or get what we was already slated to get, which was the cold stone, we would have just stayed in that lane, in the right lane. But she said what? Get in the left lane for cookies. Because I want you to get what you want too. So why did you change anything? But I didn't know you didn't you didn't necessarily <laughs> say you wanted ice cream. You just were getting ice cream because I said Look, look, ice if it look. Look, you just be we getting were stuff already I want it. I, like, why I can't get your? Why can't you tell me what you want too? Okay, so the issue here is two things, you guys. We are both ambivalent, apathetic, whatever word you want to use, about which sweet between Publix cookies and Cold Stone that we really want. We both defer to the other, right? So I am making a judgment call to make this right to get Cold Stone. But, but then she says, make a left of cookies. So I am making the audible because she has made a judgment call from it not mattering and let me just go get the cold stone to I definitively want cookies. That's why I got in the left lane. Yeah. Now I, all of a sudden they go no. back to, I want whatever you want. And no, you didn't make an, you didn't call an audible on the ice cream. I said ice cream, you went with ice, ice cream. And then I was like, well, wait, what do you want though? Okay, go get the cookies. Cause I, I feel like you might want the cookies more. 
But but that's the, it's yeah. your fault because you're not telling me like you know what, babe? I would prefer I would prefer ice cream or I would prefer cookies. You just leave it up to me. Again, we already established that both of us really don't care which one. But I was already in the right lane, and you're trying to make it sound like I'm making the decision. Why is he like this? To get the cookies instead of the ice cream when I was already about to get the ice cream. Okay, I just want you to be happy too. Either way, I'm gonna be happy. Okay. Either way, I'm good. But the fact that you're like, get back in the right lane when I was already in the right lane. Well, you still. When you told me to get in the left lane, you know what, you guys? <laughs> now I know how Adam felt. <laughs> pull, up, pull up the quote Put the quote yeah. in the, uh, the Bible in there It's that wife you gave me Lord <laughs> Now we know Adam wrong For passing the buck to his wife Right he should have been there But he was there That's one thing too the Bible is Why clear about Why he this cheap okay. Adam was there It's not like he was off someplace else Adam was right there when the whole thing went down mm -hmm. And he was just like Sitting by I guess being a people pleaser Being happy wife happy life but then when happy it went down, spouses, happy houses. But then when it went down, he said, like that wife know. you gave me. So yeah, whatever. I okay. guess now I can kind of kind of see what's happening. Oh, you don't see nothing happening, okay? <laughs> and we don't happy wife, happy life over here, okay? Happy spouses, happy houses. <laughs> Y'all done heard me say it in, in plenty other videos, okay? We don't do that over here, but okay. But you, uh, you know, know what, what, you guys? It might end up happening just like the. Uh, Academy Sports where we didn't get nothing you know <laughs> like maybe this is another thing where and then we go to this Publix and they don't even they have even no have cookies them. <laughs> and we just heading home because the Lord protecting us from them from that sugar sweet sweet ain't supposed to be eating what is that chicken what? factory grand ultimate okay oh. Oh, uh, I'm watching vlogs I just finished watching uh, just being me hey girl hey um, and then I watched while hubby was doing all of that Jenna, we she just dropped a vlog, <laughs> a vlog. I mean, not a vlog. Some Chanel, uh, a Chanel sneakers review. Watched that, and that, now I'm about to watch. Oh, that's Lori. She just dropped. Okay, everybody just dropped vlogs today. Love that. And then I'm gonna get into my girl Minna. And. Who else? McKenna. I don't know if I'm giving McKenna three hours today. Three hours? A three hour vlog? Two hours and 40 minutes. Wow. I don't know if I'm giving her that today. I have to watch her in pieces. Is it a podcast? Is no. she talking about, like, what does the title say? It's a vlog. What does the title say? Weekly vlog. That's all it say? Well, life update. Life update, okay. um, Mellow turned one, her son, okay. DIY crafts, lots of cooking, cleaning. Okay. I mean, but that's what her vlogs are. Okay, okay. I can't give them three hours. Give her three hours today. Uh, also, just watch but Beyond I, can, I understand that. One thing I was just li listening for is what's the thing that's making it three hours and what's the thing that's going to make it, make it you know the watch time the retention oh and, and i definitely know even you used to dabble in that clean with me uh there's something that out there i did not do no clean with me and the fact <laughs> you that used you to dabble in the clean that, with me I lifestyle dabble like a but that's dribble. not even the point of what i'm saying the point is it's one of those things where as you're cleaning a uh, clean with me is playing in the background because it's motivation uh, yeah. so the watch time is there so maybe that's why it's three hours i can i can dig it yeah um gotta watch simply kira and yeah, I think I'm gonna be current. I think I'm gonna be current. Watch, we watched Face Over Matter this morning. Oh, Niza Bay. Wait, is this a, a real or a video? Oh, she dropped two videos. Oh, she streamed one. What is this? Oh, she streamed earlier. Oh, we might have been in church. And then a vlog. Okay, so we got a, we got a lot of vlogs to watch. Hobby watches a lot of the vlogs with me, not everybody. But um Yeah. But we're gonna we're gonna go home, we're gonna eat dinner, and what else are we gonna do? We're gonna plan uh, Yeah, we got some plans. We watch plans. game tape, so um there are people we watch for enjoyment, but there are also um vlogs we watch because you know we're really trying to understand uh the algorithm and the space for first off business owners brick and mortar business owners christian bloggers uh bloggers over a certain age 
So just what makes them successful? You know, why are there a few of them? Why are there a lot of them? And just really try to, you know, do our due diligence. I don't want to say crack the code because some of it is always just going to be hard work, like putting out quality content. Yeah. And some of it is going to be a little bit of luck. It don't, you know, it takes that one video that resonates with people um, to get folks on board. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, we we do kind of do that extra, I guess, field work, that extra due diligence. So I we, think we all do. I mean, a yeah. lot of us, we all watched, you know, have come across Think Media and Roberto Blake, mm -hmm. and you know, from the smaller YouTubers, new YouTubers mm -hmm. to Vanessa the big Lyle, YouTubers, Vanessa Lau. Like we all, I mean, if you don't study your craft or what you want to do, I mean, what are you doing? You know, there are people that kind of come on here and and get the instant. Yeah, lightning in the bottle. Type yeah, thing. yeah, for sure. Oh. He did that on purpose. <laughs> uh, but you, you know, you got to do your research. So uh, we all, we all do it. Um, yeah, but yeah. So we just after that, you know, we'll chill, enjoy Sunday because this is technically my Saturday. All right, let me head in here. You all want right. anything else? The uh, Dr Pepper. Die Dr Pepper. Yeah. All right. All right, y'all. This butter or this butter? Which butter? Can I take the butter back in? Can we find a way to finally make it right? Monday. It is Monday. I'm getting ready to run to the grocery store and get some things. Mostly dinner for tonight. I'm getting, uh, we're having steak and green beans. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I just wanted to open up today's vlog and yeah, we're doing some plant things today. We are going to be outside if it doesn't rain. It does say it's 40% chance, but yeah, I don't even think the weather people know what they're what the weather is gonna be weathering at this point. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I need to repot a few things, and mainly I'm I've had to do it for some time now, but I'm really gonna do it now because I need to determine which pots can go to the shop for the PPP program um, and which ones I want to keep. Because when hubby and I were going through it yesterday, I was like, wait, do I want that pot? <laughs> do I want to let go of it you know so it's like you know what go pot the plants in the pick the pots that you want to put them in and then that'll make it much easier so we're doing that I have to rinse off them um, two fiddles that I've been treating because they had gotten some mealies so they're like a rehab uh, they are re they are rehab plants and then um, I look kind of small here come on waste you guys, let's see if we can get past this black door. Okay, and she doesn't even have on a bodysuit, honey. Yes, <laughs> love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, come on. Um, and yes. Your girl wears bodysuits. I actually, the ones I wear, I would show you guys right now, but I need to go. Um, Cause 
life is Brittany had mentioned she had bought some some new ones um, for her and you know it smooths her out listen I've been wearing bodysuits even when I was smaller I was wearing bodysuits okay because it's that's the generation I'm from my mom you know my grandmother taught my mom my mom taught me and she was just like you just want that smooth look when you put your clothes on you know if you got a little roll here an indentation there whatever the case just when you put on a dress when you put on clothes you just want to you know look smooth and it's just something I've always done like I say even when I was a buck 50 a buck 40 I was wearing bodysuits so I still wear them um, and a lot of people do like skims hello that's that's all that is you know especially well people wear skims you know as clothes now they make them as clothes but you know there are people like Jennifer Lopez, Holly Berry, I have even seen them talk about it. I, I, if I can find that clip y'all already know so yeah I don't even have one on though and it's like <laughs> yes I mean the stomach is still there but she looked a little smaller yes and this is actually a large because this I bought this for my dad but I never got it to him um, I got this in Jamaica. Yeah, this is before COVID. Yeah, I got it in Jamaica and I just, I never got it to him. But anyway, enough about that. You know, we like the non-scale victories. Okay, let us know your girl, <laughs> something is working, okay? Um, but yeah, so I just want, like I said, I wanted to check in. I did, let me show y'all my new Bible bag. Okay, ain't she cute? Now the only thing is, I don't know why I thought this was gonna be leather but it's not it, or canvas I don't know it almost feels like paper like a really really thick paper but it had good reviews it feels good I think we're gonna stick with it um maybe it's recycled it's printed on recyclable paper uh or recyclable material so also I bought a new curling iron. You guys saw when I went. I think I took y'all with me. Uh, so hot tools, and this is an extra long. So I feel like this would work good with my wig. And then lastly, before I go for real for real, y'all, I was so confused. Why y'all ain't told me in the comments? So when I was curling my hair, before like all this time I was using the iron guard okay I was thinking that this was holding spray but this is heat protectant so no wonder your girl's bang wasn't banging um and and like falling out what is this piece here hold on y'all what is what is this hap what's happening here okay uh-oh, now we're not going to be walking out here looking crazy with just little fuzzy pieces of hair randomly looking unkept. Alright, so helmet head is what you use for hold. And when I was in um, Ulta, I was like, I feel like I have one, but I wasn't sure. And I wanted to have it for church yesterday. Um, so I bought this little one um, just in case. And lo and behold, I had what I need. I had what I needed. So <laughs> I, I'm going to go ahead and just keep this one for travel purposes uh, whenever that commences. I'm just trying to get hubby to figure out where, where he going to take me because you girl need to go on a vacation. She did a vacation. This, the shop limits all of it um but we are a traveling couple uh so anyway let me go ahead and go y'all let me go ahead and go i'm trying to pick up my camera more and just chit chat with y'all because i get comments that you guys love to hear me talk now i don't know if y'all like to hear me talk just in general randomly or if y'all love to hear me talk about something specific so let me know <laughs> down in the comments below uh down in the comments below like because i don't want to ramble and you know Fumble the ball. Uh, yeah, so let's go. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Hey, bitch! I'm gonna go check out my monies. <laughs> Bye. Many hours later. 
And so Simon hears a message that is preached by Philip. He even becomes baptized and he follows Philip around as Philip is preaching the good news. Again, this is like the early church getting established, trying to go out into all of the nations and make disciples. I don't think that I would have been the one to, to clean it personally. Okay. Uh, cook it a specific way. Okay, you know what you can do? No. What? You know what you Obviously can do? nothing. Okay, so you can do. Come on. Or oh, and do what? Give me some like, ice cream. And no. We already said we weren't eating dessert. Well, you don't have to eat it. What? You no, you can go if you want to go get ice cream. Mm, mm. Mm -hmm. Man, that should have been something you asked me when I came out because I was actually going to go and come back earlier or go back later. And then I was like, you know what? Let me get everything done now so I don't have to come back out. So you go get us something sweet. Mm -hmm. Okay, see? that you had got that day and then you decided not to eat it. That was the one that was on the um, grill that you ate when I made the chicken. Oh, yeah. You ate it. Don't <laughs> come back over here. Do not come back over here. <laughs> okay, I know something. Hey, y'all. So, just making some vegetables for dinner tonight. We're having steak. So, steak and green beans. I'm just, so I'm just prepping. I like these right here. So. So it is, all right, it's like early evening, not, not quite five. I can't find my box cutter, but it's not quite five o'clock, but we just got Shadow's food, her farmer's dog in. Let me get her chicken, beef. And I think that's it. I don't think I get the pork. Let's see. Oh yeah. And I get her the turkey. So I need to feed her. Oh, they said some snacks. Snap sticks. Look at that. Thank you, Farmer's Dog. They just drop this in there. Let's see if she likes it. <laughs> Let's see, I'm gonna feed her, put these up, and then um, I just put on the green beans, hold on. Yeah, and so we'll have dinner after hubby, after that's ready, he's on a late call. So I'm just trying to 
be done but done when he comes out and then um i need to re download my my digital bible app on my mini because for some reason it's just acting super wonky i just had bible study as well just spent some time in the word um and so that was awesome learned about how the enemy tempts you is what was that was today's bible study it's three ways that he tempts you um so like it was like through your ego through your through materialism and through hedonism i think is what it's called yeah that was good the book of acts we were in the book of acts that's what we studied and um yeah so i just but i told y'all that i'd use the soap method and the church notebooks that i did use today i don't like to use that for like my own personal i like to use that for um when we're at church uh whether we're there or listening but i used it to get bible study in today um because my mini isn't doing what it's supposed to do <laughs> and i may actually buy a bible study book like to do the the soap method in um because i found another little notebook for journaling but that's just like kind of where i could put my random thoughts in but to like actually house scriptures that i just want to remember and study i want the soap method um so yeah there's that anyway let me go ahead and do this you guys and then will so i didn't get to take my plants out to water today because it's raining it's been raining all day i think tomorrow's supposed to be nice um i'm gonna see about my energy for repotting today didn't get to do that i really i don't even know if i relaxed today because um my back had like spasmed out last night or yesterday afternoon real bad like it locked up and so i was on I had to take some muscle relaxant um and then that knocked me out twice I took a nap which was amazing uh and then I slept all night it was better late yesterday um and so I was kind of woozy you know this morning and have you guys ever been like really tired but you couldn't go to sleep like I couldn't like relax it was weird so I, I wanted to take another nap today, but I couldn't. So yeah, my, but my mind is calmed down after Bible study, so I'm okay. But like this, I don't know, is that normal or not normal, but has that ever happened to y'all? Um, that's what happened to me today. So I may, at some point, my body may let me like clonk out, I hope. Ooh, child, I'm gonna put this on the floor. Yeah, this was a big order and we actually feed her like um we do like half the farmer's dog and half um regular food what's the food we use for her um i can't remember anyway and um so i already have they come frozen but i i'm sure you guys saw so we give her like this is three meals so she's had this much and I'm about to give her this, you know, so you can get three servings out of this. But if, but yeah, if you have pets, dog, farmer's dog is awesome. It's really good. Not sponsored. <laughs> However, if y'all come across this video, farmer's dog, sponsor your girl. <laughs> Cause we've been using y'all for years. We're gonna see about these snacks in a minute and see if she likes these. Are they flavored? Well, it says it has chicken, apple, and sea salt. I guess all in one. So maybe the apple. She like that. One thing's for sure: our bunnies they only like apple flavored treats. I've tried to give them like, um, like no, yeah, they like they like apple and banana. It was another flavor I tried to give them: carrot. They don't like carrot flavored, but they like carrots. Crazy crazy 
They so picky.